Hi, welcome to this edition of the ONF Spotlight. Today, we're going to have a talk on multicast in SIBA, and it's going to be presented by Essen and Osgier. Um, Essen is currently pursuing her PhD at university. She's a researcher in the field of computer networks and currently a member of the Computer Networking Lab of computer, at the Computer Engineering Department. Her research inter interests are centered around multi-axis edge computing and software-defined networking. She's an architect at Netzia and currently very involved in the ONF's projects, particularly around SIBA and multicast. She's been a part of the multicast multi-TCOMP brigade uh, for over a year. Uh, she is really focusing on realizing the Turk Telecom's multicast vision. And so we thank her for that work and um, we'll enjoy this presentation, I'm sure. Azge is a gradu graduated from engineering at Farat University. She's an R&D engineer at Netzia and a member of the multicast multi tcom brigade. Uh, she's contributed, both actually have contributed uh, very proficiently to a lot of the ONS work, I'm sorry, yeah, ONOS work, <laughs> around the IGMP proxy, again, all the multicast components of ONOS. And currently also, Osge is working on the open ONU adapter, making sure that it can uh, process multicast events. So we thank them for this presentation and take it away. Uh, okay, welcome to our presentation. Um, well, today we are talking about how we implement multicast service in SIBA architecture. And uh, this is our agenda. Uh, I want to talk about uh, I want to talk about a brief introduction to multicast service and uh, and then we, uh, briefly talk about internet group messaging protocol and then uh, I will talk about uh, how we uh, implement uh, main uh, multicast scenarios in SIBA and then uh, at the end of the presentation as we will talk about OMCI uh, protocol. Uh, let's start with talking about uh, a brief uh, introduction to main traffic types. As all of you know, uh, we have uh, three main traffic types, unicast, broadcast, and multicast. In unicast, we have one source and one destination. In broadcast, uh, we have broadcast, in, we have one source and many receivers. Uh, these receivers uh, receive receive these packets regardless of their interest to these packets. But in multicast, there, there, there are just one source and a group of interested receivers. So in this traffic type, just uh, interested receivers uh, receive uh, the, the packets. That's how multicast differ from the other uh, traffic types. And, uh, and it, uh, in this slide, I want to talk about internet group messaging protocol very briefly. Uh, it's a communication protocol which is used on IP version 4 networks. And um, it is used to establish uh, group uh, subscriptions. Uh, and user, uh, th through this protocol, users declare their interest uh, in a streaming content. And uh, when uh, forwarding devices receive IGMP messages, uh, they act, uh, record, they act uh, accordingly to forward uh, this uh, uh, multicast stream to the uh, users. And uh, namely, there are three types of IGMP protocol, uh, version one, version two, and version three. And in this presentation, we focus on uh, IGMP version two. And this diagram um, very basically shows, um, shows a classic uh, view of a, a SIBA pod. Uh, it composes two, two main parts. Uh, residence part and central office. In residence parts, users have their uh, residential gateways and ONU devices uh, in their residential areas. And in central office, uh, we have ORT devices, a gateway device, and a, and a BNG, and also uh, an almost installation, which is pro uh, controlling ORT and aggregator devices. And uh, at the residence site, um, uh, we named the uh, we name Uniport uh, uh, well a, a connection point uh, that an uh, an uh, residential gateway is connected uh, 
to the ONU is named as Uniport, and also uh, it, we call it um, SYNC. Um, so a, a subscriber is rep represented uh, by a SYNC in our uh, uh, software system. And also uh, we name uh, APNIC port of an aggregator as source. And uh, in the uh, ONOS uh, square, uh, we have um, four main applications uh, to uh, orchestrate main uh, multicast scenarios. Uh, IGMP proxy, multicast, uh, as, as also known as uh, multicast root, multi routing information base, port multicast, and segment routing. Uh, IGMP proxy is responsible for um, inter intercepting and processing uh, IGMP messages. It receives IGMP join and leave messages and uh, acts accordingly. It uh, maintains an internal store and uh, it keeps subscriber in state info in the store. store. And uh, when uh, it receives uh, an IGMP message, uh, it runs uh, a mach uh, state machine for this subscriber uh, to decide uh, what what should be the next action for the subscriber, and then also uh, it forwards uh, receive IGMP message to the BNG if necessary. Uh, IGMP proxy uh, is uh, also provides uh, sync information uh, to the multicast application. Um, uh, as I early. As I mentioned earlier, multicast application also uh, as known as uh, multicast routing information base. It uh, keeps uh, main uh, subscript group subscription information as sinks and sources sources. And then it uh, updates its internal store. Uh, it uh, broadcasts some uh, events, and these events are listened by court multicast and segment routing application. Uh, court, multi court multicast application is responsible for um, programming OLT devices. Uh, when it receives uh, a notification from the multicast store, it uh, creates, updates, or deletes necessary uh, multicast groups and flows on the OLT, on the OLT device. And all the segment routing is responsible for programming aggregator device. And I want to talk about main scenarios. Uh, there are four main uh, sub, uh, multicast scenarios. Uh, the first one is IPTV service provisioning. The second one, IGMP membership report, as known as IGMP join. And the third one is leave group, uh, IGMP leave group. And the fourth one is IGMP membership query. Uh, well, I, I want to talk about, first of all, I want to talk about service provisioning uh, scenario. Uh, in this scenario, this scenario is designed to configure OIT and ONU devices to make them multicast service capable. Um, in uh, Turk Telecom use cases, uh, we consider IPTV servers uh, as a composition of two sub-services, video on demand and multicast. Uh, during um, provisioning uh, subscribers uh, for video on demand service, uh, we install uh, upstream IGMP flows to uh, ORT devices and uh, also uh, configure uh, on the device, uh, related on the devices, uh, and uh, create necessary uh, OMCI model in this in the device, uh, in ONU device. Uh, we, we conduct this operation during VOD service subscription uh, process. And VOD service subscription process is also triggered by a VOT application running on ONOS. Uh, after uh, explaining IPTV service provisioning, I want to talk about IGMP membership report. Uh, after provision uh, a subscriber uh, and uh, after provisioning of subscriber, a subscriber starts uh, using multicast service. So uh, it's um, a users um, sends an IGMP membership report report messages uh, to request a multicast data. So uh, in this diagram, um, so we in in this slide we have a network dia diagram. 
uh, which composes two OLT devices and one aggregator device and two ONE devices, which are connected to one OLT1 and OLT2. And also we have a video, stream, video streaming server. Um, in this scenario, we assume that ONU, uh, first of all, ONU, ONU1 uh, requests uh, the multicast data with a multicast group address uh, 225201. Uh, to request this multicast data, uh, first of all, it sends an IGMP join message. This IGMP join message is intercepted at the OLT1 and forwarded to, uh, or forwarded to the ONOS instance. At the ONOS instance, this message is uh, received and processed by the IGMP proxy application. And uh, IGMP proxy application provides this sync info to the multicast routing information based application. And uh, this application also triggers uh, court multicast and segment routing applications to program the uh, device for one devices accordingly. So, and, uh, and then IGMP proxy message also, uh, as IGMP proxy application also forwards this joint message to the uh, BNG. Uh, this diagram shows how we um, program forwarding devices after uh, processing of IGMP join message of ONU1. Uh, as you can see, um, to deliver uh, multicast data to the ONU1, we, um, we, we establish an end-to-end uh, path uh, starting from aggregated device and ending at the OLT1 device. Uh, we um, create uh, a multicast flow flow rule and a multicast group uh, on aggregator device. And um, we add port one to the multicast group as a member uh, to replicate incoming multicast stream to the, to the port one of the aggregator switch. And then uh, we also created a multicast flow and a multicast group and added port five to the multicast uh, related multicast group to uh, replicate the incoming stream to the ONU1. And then uh, the IGMP proxy also uh, forwarded this message to the BNG uh, so that uh, this uh, multicast data uh, can be delivered to, to the OR system. That is our, um, that is how an NIMG uh, IGMP uh, join message is uh, processed. Uh, in our system. And the second scenario, second IGMP joint scenario, uh, we suppose that also when you two uh, requested the same multicast data, at this point, uh, we just uh, update the multicast group on OLT1 and added port six to the uh, related multicast group uh, so that we can replicate incoming uh, stream to, to both uh, port five and port six. And at this point, uh, IGMP proxy does not forward the incoming uh, IGMP join message from ONU2 to the BNG because uh, it's not necessary because uh, this stream uh, has already been requested once and delivered to our system currently. And in the second case, uh, we suppose that ONU3 also wants to receive the same multicast data. So it's, uh, we assume that it sends uh, an IGMP join message uh, for this multicast group. And this diagram shows how we uh, program uh, forwarding devices to deliver the stream to the ONU3 uh, device. So first of all, uh, we updated the group on the aggregator device and added member added port two as a member two uh, multicast group so that we can replicate uh, the incoming stream, replicate incoming stream to the port one and port two. And also uh, we need to uh, create, uh, we also, we also uh, created and uh, created a multicast flow and a multicast group on the OLT2 device. And uh, we uh, added port seven uh, to the uh, multicast group. Uh, so at this point, um, incoming multicast data uh, replicated uh, on aggregator device, and it's uh, 
it comes to ORT2 and it's replicated to uh, port 7 through the multi related multicast flow and groups. Um, this way, ORT3 starts receiving the multicast traffic. And uh, I want to talk about another uh, scenario, IGMP lead group scenario. IGMP lead messages is used uh, by subscribers. Uh, the subscribers, uh, subscribers send these messages when they uh, do when uh, when they uh, when they do not no long when they do not uh, want to receive uh, a multicast data. So um, at this point, they uh, send IGMP lead messages. Uh, in this case, suppose that IGM uh, ONU three stops. Uh, Stops listening to stops listening. Uh, stop receiving of the related multicast data. Uh, so it, it send an, sends an IGMP lead message, and uh, this is how we reacted. How our system reacted to the, to this message. Uh, so this message is uh, intercepted at the ORT two and uh, uh, forwarded to the. Uh, on uh, instance and IGMP proxy process this message and uh, instruct uh, other uh, applications below. And then, uh, so uh, we, as a result, we uh, removed uh, related multicast flow and groups from ORT2. And also, uh, we updated the multicast group on the aggregator switch. Uh, we remove port 2 from the multicast group uh, to prevent uh, replicating the uh, multicast data uh, to the uh, to the port 2 and um, and in this case suppose that uh, ONU 2 has already uh, stopped listening to the uh, this multicast group uh, in this case, uh, our system uh, removes, uh, updates the multicast group on ORT1 device. It, uh, it removes port 6 from the multicast group. Um, and also, uh, suppose that uh, ONU1 also wants to stop listening to, the, to this multicast data. It sends an IGMP link message. And this is how our system reacts this message. Uh, we uh, removed all, all related multicast flow and groups from the forwarding device because um, there is no one left in, in this port listening to this, uh, requesting this IG, IGMP data. Uh, and also we forwarded this message uh, IGMP, uh, well, actually IGMP proxy application also forwarded this IGMP leave message to the BNG because um, no one, no one uh, wants to receive this stream anymore. That's why um, we, 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 tell, we tell that we don't want to receive this stream anymore. So that's why we, um, send this IGMP to the BNG so that it, it can stop delivering this thing to, to our system. Uh, so, and, and, and the last scenario is IGMP membership query. Um, IGMP membership query is used to, uh, is used to query uh, subscribers. Or IGMP proxy application sends periodic IGMP membership group specific queries to the uh, hosts behind the ON news. And if a query message is not replied for a defined time, IGMP proxy removes the sync from its store and updates a multicast routing information base accordingly. Uh, this is a kind of um, health check mechanism actually. And uh, well, uh, at this point, Özge will talk about OMCI uh, protocol and how we utilize OMCI protocol to configure uh, ONU devices. Thank you, Esin. 
multicast traffic can be support in uh, optical access network. Uh, ITU spec uh, as supporting three uh, multicast MEs. Uh, these MEs are uh, multicast operation profile, multicast subscriber config info, and multicast scan interval confirmation point. Uh, multicast operation profile uh, express uh, is a multicast policy. You can set your IGMP version, uh, IGMP function, and uh, your ACL table. Uh, multicast subscriber config info uh, data uh, associated with uh, multicast manager. Uh, this image may uh, therefore be viewed as res restrictive rather than uh, permissive. Uh, and multicast uh, GAM interval TP is uh, transmit multicast streaming. Uh, one uh, ONU has uh, one uh, multicast uh, GAM because uh, one uh, GAM port ID is shared by uh, multiple ONUs in multicast connection. Uh, the multicast connection setup process, uh, same uh, the uh, unicast uh, connection setup process. Uh, you can, uh, this uh, ME is creation by uh, OLT. Uh, that concludes my talk. We would uh, like to be happy uh, to answer your question. Hi, okay, thank you. Um, I do have a couple questions. Um, the first is you talked about IGMP being in IPv4 protocol. Um, have you guys given any thought or thought about what you're going to do with respect to IPv6 and multicast? Uh, well, actually, um, it's not our uh, near future plans um, right now because uh, it's not, it has not been requested by uh, our customer yet. Okay. Uh, Telecom yet, yes. <laughs> All right, have you, but have you looked into it? Do you see a kind of a path from where you are now to a possibility of IPv6 or is it just so far out we're not even considering it right now? <laughs> yeah, uh, we haven't uh, looked it into it yet actually. Okay. Fair enough. Um, the other question I had is, I was looking at the scenario you talked, particularly when you look at a join and a leave happening uh, near simultaneously to two ONUs sitting behind a common um, OLT. So if I have a join, so if I have one ONU that joins and is watching a multicast stream, and then as that first ONU starts to leave the multicast stream, another one tries to join, how are you handling concurrency issues within probably the IGMP proxy more than anything else to ensure that you don't say, oh, I, I see ONU1 or ONU2 joining, but I know I have ONU1 already um, upstreamed. I've already did the join upstream. So I don't want to, re you know, I, you, you make that decision you, and then you say, okay, I don't need to add a join for ONU2, but then I see ONU1 leave and so I erase it, right? There's some sort of count going on here. And how are you dealing with that concurrency? Uh, well, actually, um, when IGMP proxy receives an IGMP message, it uh, it checks the, uh, it makes a master shipment check. So uh, an IGMP it guarantees that an IGMP message just uh, uh, processed by only one instance of an ONOS cluster uh, in an ONOS clustered environment. And also, um, uh, these multicast applications uh, use some locking mechanism, uh, internal locking mechanism, uh, to deal with these various conditions. Um, and also, uh, so we, we are also keeping uh, a, keeping some counters. Uh, we we count uh, subscriptions. Uh, so we preserve these counters in uh, ONOS uh, storage uh, subsystem. So um, we we utilize uh, atomic counter of uh, provide atomic counter provi provided by um, ONOS uh, storage subsystem. Uh, so uh, in this way, we safely uh, increment and decrement the value uh, counter values. Okay. Makes, makes perfect sense. Um, because you're going through a single instance of Onos, the, the mastership, and you have the synchronization, have you guys been able to do any performance testing around 
quick channel changes and how that's how this is being affected or how many you can actually process? Uh, well, actually, um, how can I say? Uh, we deployed uh, our um, system to a really to, to a really real, real environment, mm -hmm. and we uh, currently testing our system with real subscribers and we with real uh, residential gateways and ONUs at uh, residential areas of the users. And, but however, I cannot uh, talk about the uh, number of subscribers right now. <laughs> I'm not eligible to uh, talk about it, right? But uh, we are uh, planning to, uh, also we are planning to conduct some performance tests in our lab uh, with physical ONU devices. Um, we have approximately more than 50 ONU devices in our um, uh, lab right now. Um, we are testing uh, them, uh, we are using them to test our HSI or VOD uh, services, but we also uh, plan to con conduct some IGMP uh, performance tests on this system. Uh, so we are planning, um, so uh, the hosts uh, behind the OA news uh, will send uh, random IGMP uh, join an IGMP requests and will create uh, IGMP traffic on the server. So uh, this way, uh, this is our plan right now. We are planning to conduct this performance test right now. Okay. Um, and you talked about a little bit about the failure scenarios. You have membership queries that go down to the, the hosts periodically to just essentially verify that the subscriptions are still valid. Uh, from a technical point of view, those membership queries are sent to all hosts Every possible host, or only the hosts that you suspect have a subscription? Uh, we just uh, we use uh, group specific membership queries to do and use right now. IGMP uh, proxy application is capable of uh, doing it right now. Uh, we uh, we uh, sent um, IGMP query messages for the groups that a subscriber currently listening to. Okay. Okay. Um, great. In in terms of gem ports, I think I heard you you mention that there is one gem point, one gem port per ONU. Is that accurate? Uh, yes, there is one gem port, uh, multicast gem, port, gem port per ONU. Okay. Yes. So if if someone is viewing multiple streams behind a single ONU, all streams are going over that same gem port. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. But actually, uh, we are using the same uh, multicast jam port across all the uh, ports. Okay. Ah. Excellent. Um, those are the questions I have. I appreciate it. That was a very good talk. It was very, uh, I, I love the kind of the progression as it went through kind of describing the joins and leaves. So it was a, I appreciate that a lot. Much. All right. Thank you very Bye. much. And thanks everyone for listening. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. Thank you.